How to activate full self-driving in a Tesla. This is for S and X. Double tap on the right scroll wheel. There's a fire truck right there and it's going. And it's stopping. Right, so it's uh, accelerating, but it also took that turn into that intersection with the fire truck. So we're gonna slow this down, let this fire truck go. He's going about 45. So we're going about 42 right now. The speed limit is 45, but just to give you a perspective of what it sees. So the hag is more aggressive now. So about 10 seconds, if your hand's not on the steering wheel, it's gonna flash. So all those videos showing people sleeping and not holding the steering wheel, either they tamper with the steering wheel or it's not real. So we're gonna make it right right here. It's signaling first. It's slowing down for the pedestrian crosswalk and then it's gonna go forward a little bit take a look at what's on the adjacent side or who has the green light I'm not sure who has the green light here and neither does the car actually ooh, it's trying to go again when that car was trying to make a left so bad decision okay it should go now okay into into the right turn lane. It always tried to stay on the right side, but that's not always the best, um, the best decision because sometimes the right side is your right heart turn uh, lane or mandatory right turn lane. So we're following this Model X here. It looks like it's the long range. This is a plat. Um, we are on plat mode, so it should be a little bit more aggressive, assertive. We have it on the assertive as well. So the acceleration is more um, normal in plat mode. Um, but within the actual autopilot itself, you have chill or assertive. So assertive is, I guess, more aggressive. So now it's trying to change lane with this car right here. And it's not slowing down. It should be slowing down to get behind this car, but it's just signaling and now it gave up. So it's just gonna keep going straight. It has to get over. So I'm, I just took over because I have to make a left. So that was a bad, 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 bad um, decision by it. It should have slowed down to get over, but I have to intervene to get over because I needed to make this left. So now I'm gonna re-engage um, autopilot, or full self-driving that is. So if you have full self-driving, you have this visualization with the traffic light and so forth. You still have visualization without full self-driving, but not this detail. Again, this is the latest version 11 from the holiday update and it's definitely not doing a better job at all. Um, it gets too hesitant in the, in the section. Then once it waits too long, it makes bad decision by entering the intersection like with the stop sign uh, and that fire truck. And then when it's trying to get over to this left turn lane, it tried to accelerate and keep pace with that Mercedes C-Class. So I had to intervene and now it's entering this red line or orange line. So if a car was there, it would have tried to avoid it and possibly cause some confusion for their adjacent lane. So we're gonna head down um, for a mile and a half here and make a right. So it's nagging me again. I have to put my hand in the steering wheel. This camera right here, it does um, pay attention to you. If you're holding the phone, it nags you a lot more often than if you weren't holding the phone um, and not holding the steering wheel. So if you 
hold the phone and not hold the steering wheel it will nag you more frequently if you're not holding the phone not holding the steering wheel then it nags you uh, a little bit less so just to show you visualization it shows it still shows the truck so there's a truck backing up in the main street there so it's just gonna pass that truck i guess yeah so there's enough space sometimes it freaks out in the previous version and it just stops until that truck is clear of its path so i'm gonna try to go to the right lane here all right did that just fine so changing lanes without any vehicles around perfect here's a guy run jaywalking right there jaywalker so it's slow down for them this big rig's trying to come over so it did slow down in that situation usually i would accelerate um around the truck here's a railway crossing light turn yellow it did read that fairly early so did apply the regenerative and then i didn't feel the brake pull so it didn't panic break this time for that yellow light so good observation it will go through the intersection at yellow um even at the last minute so it's not gonna panic like it used to so right now we're just accelerating again it's nagging me because i'm holding holding a camera to record so i'm gonna make it right in about half a mile here and continue on this lane so so far so good with straight driving some corners but when it start making turns at intersection that's when you can expect some failure um, in terms of normal driving behavior it still will do it it's just it's just gonna cause a possible accident uh, if you don't intervene or you will miss that turn and then it, it will loop you all the way around so there's a dip here it doesn't show on the actual fsd visualization so um, if you're driving make sure you pay attention to those dip uh, so you'll be flying through those deep ones same thing with speed bump it's a hit or miss i would say 20 percent of the time it may detect it but that's a very low low percentage so just be prepared for that railroad crossing no issue so this fedex is gonna make a right let's see if it recognizes the signal it doesn't recognize the signal okay now it does so it's slowing down for the fedex truck and then it will accelerate there's a hesitation with that acceleration right there like right now typically you would just normally accelerate but it slowly accelerate and then continue so here's a stop sign at in the section so this will be interesting so it's a regular stop sign So there's cars coming. It can't see that pretty clearly. The traffic light is not blocking it. Okay, I had to intervene because it was going to go. I'm going to re-engage it. Right about now when there's no cars. All right. So that's pretty much it. So at intersection, it's uh, it's not perfect, um, and it's still not perfect. It's actually worse than before. I find that vehicle with the ultrasonic sensor, it actually works better um, during those tight intersection with a lot of vehicles coming. Not sure what it detects, but it just detects a lot better than just relying completely from the Tesla vision. So hopefully you, you find this video helpful if you're on the, the fence about getting FSD. Um, it does work really well on long road trip with straight uh, highway and some interchange on the highway and exit on ramp is okay. But when it comes to street driving like this, still a lot of work to do, be done. Catch you all next time. Remember to subscribe.